Minister of Petroleum Industries, Anur Priyadarshini Appa, says that the prices of oil were increased to cover the losses incurred by the Salam Petroleum Industries. The Salam Petroleum Corporation decided to increase oil prices with effect from midnight yesterday. According to the new revision, the price of a litre of 90 and 95 octane of petrol has been put up by 3 rupees. Thereby, the new price of a litre of 90 octane petrol is 162 rupees. The new price of a litre of 95 octane petrol is now 170 rupees. The price of a litre of auto diesel has been increased by 6 rupees, while the price of a litre of super diesel has been increased by 3 rupees. Meanwhile, the Lanka IOC also said that they too had increased the price of petrol by 3 rupees. Over the past two years, the prices of petrol in Sri Lanka was increased on four occasions. Based on the current economy in the country, we cannot provide fuel on concessionary rates. I think it is after one year that the CPC has increased fuel prices. During the past year, the CPC bore the burden taking into account the situation the people were in. During the past, the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation incurred a massive loss of 89 billion rupees. It is because of that loss that we had to increase the prices. Although the minister made this comment at the event held in Kolonnava on the 12th to welcome the minister, the deputy minister expressed this view. Who is saying that the CPC is incurring losses? Who is saying that the CPC should incur losses? If we are capable of importing fuel and selling it by comparing the international oil prices, who is to say that this is a loss incurring institution? This institution should have incurred losses in the past, but it did not. In comparison with the dollar in the present context, the price of a litre of petrol becomes 106 rupees when you calculate the prices of purchasing and storage after it reaches the harbour. Likewise, the price of diesel comes to an amount less than 108 rupees. This price increase is clearly the result of the state failure to pay off the over 70 billion in loans and has burdened the people. It has failed to stop the payments of millions in dollars for the delays of ships. It has failed to obtain the compensation related to the importations of substandard fuel. This price increase was not made to protect the CPC or to benefit the CPC employees. Before the 2011 Valentine's Day price increase, the price of crude oil in the world market was $101. Then the rupee went up to 132 from 114. Now with this year's Valentine's Day, the price of fuel were also increased. But what is the price of crude oil? $95. And the rupee is 128 compared to the dollar. Based on the economics I know, a logic cannot be made that this price increase was made due to the increase in the world market. Who has to suffer after the fuel prices were increased? Not the rulers of this country who were appointed by the people. The rulers receive fuel benefits. The people who appointed the rulers have been forced to face the consequences of corruption, fraud and theft that is taking place. There should be a formula to reduce the prices of fuel within this country according to the world market prices.